this episode on the Real Handmaids of Gilead. You'll never be more than a handmaid. Introducing Off Red. The Republic of Gilead is my playground, as long as I only leave my house on shopping trips. Introducing Off War. I may not be the sharpest tool in the Republic of Gilead, but at least I'm not headed to the colonies. Introducing Off Lit. I'm completely afraid to say what everyone else is thinking. Finally, I present to you Serena Joy. I thank God every day for my status as a wife. And you would too. Watch as these handmaids conquer off Red's baby shower. She's not even pregnant. It's a volleyball. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love oh, it. Good. Oh, good. Yeah. I kind of feel bad for her, you know? I mean, it must be hard watching me carry your husband's child. Thank you, thank you. What's next? <laughs> oh. Rude. Let's be real. Alfred Salt. How can somebody feel sympathy for Serena Joy? This is mine. Alfred's not even a real person. Everything she has belongs to me, including the baby. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so done with this. Next episode, watch as Off Red and apparently Serena Joy go into labor. You can do it! <laughs> you can do it! Board Grace Production. Up next, an interview with the director. What inspired you to take the Real Handmaid's franchise to Gilead? In the TV biz, you're in it to make money. We thought we could expand our audience, and we were wrong. Nobody in Gilead tunes in to watch the show. How have you enjoyed working with these handmaids? They're terrible. No love for drama at all. It's like Gilead has taken all their will, their fight, away from them. Everything is scripted. If they don't follow the lines, we're going to send them to the colonies. What is your favorite part of Gilead that you used in the show? We love using the handmade status and their lack of like being a person to put them in a powerless situation. Thank you.